Thank you for calling the Walmart Bakery. Can I place an order for some custom cupcakes? And when would you like to pick this up? Um, Wednesday, May 1st. Preferably like towards the evening. I don't know like how late you guys are open. Minnie Mouse Helper Cupcakes. Let me make sure we have enough time for How many did you want to order? Just six. Uh, I'm sorry, we only have uh, two of the toppers for this. Um, could I, do you have toppers for the red ones with Mickey Mouse too? Yeah, we have like a hundred of those, but okay. only two of the Minnie Mouse. Okay, can I just order six of those then? Uh, is there anything else you'd like to add to this order? No, that's all. It'll be uh, 6 dollars when you come to get it. You're good to go. Okay, thank you. Have a good day. You too, bye. Hello, hello guys. Odessa's birthday is this Thursday. I honestly cannot believe she's going to be too. Like, it makes me a little emotional. <laughs> I'm trying not to think about it too much. Um, so I started this birthday tradition where the kids have cupcakes for breakfast on their actual birthday. So I just ordered her some little Minnie Mouse cupcakes for her birthday. I'm going to pick them up the night before. That way they're ready for breakfast when they wake up at like, you know, the crack of dawn. <laughs> We are having her like a little party, but not until this weekend. So um, Thursday will just be like a little tiny celebrate your actual birthday kind of thing, you know? We also got her a present for her birthday, which I'm going to give her on her actual birthday because for her party, we asked people not to do gifts, just like a birthday card. So I got her this massive thing of Play-Doh. This was in the clearance aisle for $11, which is insane. Um, Play-Doh is not super expensive anyways, but there's 28 things of it in here. It's genuinely heavy. Play-Doh is one of her favorite things other than babies, but she has so many babies that I decided I wanted to get her something else other than babies, but that's her number one favorite thing. And this little Play-Doh, what are these called? Kits, like a little Play-Doh kit. And it is kind of like a baby because she does love babies. So I tried to find one that was most like a baby and Play-Doh, but it was kind of hard to do. But this is what I decided on. I think she'll like it. So cool. This comes with Play-Doh too. Six tubs of Play-Doh. So there's a lot of Play-Doh here for her to eat. <laughs> Obviously, I'm kidding. Don't take me seriously, please. Anyways, I want to get this stuff wrapped up before her party, not her party, her birthday, because I don't want to be doing it last minute. And I have to go pick up her cupcakes the night before her birthday. That way they're ready for like in the morning. I don't know if I already said that or not, but I don't want to be doing everything the night before. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. One day I will be that mom that doesn't use Christmas wrapping paper for absolutely everything. But today is not that day. <laughs> In my defense though, this doesn't look like Christmas wrapping paper. It looks like just celebrate whatever paper, which is what we're doing. So I did coordinate her entire party to be all the same theme. So I feel like I should get some brownie points for that at least. I'm just sitting here wrapping a present, sweating. Oh my God. Probably should not be wearing a, a hoodie thing today, but here we are. One present done. Now I just have to wrap the other one, which should be less difficult because it's a lot smaller and a lot less heavy. Oh my gosh. Do I have enough paper? I think I do, barely. Literally not an inch to spare. We got it done. They're both wrapped. They look super cute. They need bows, but I'll probably grab some bows whenever I go to pick up her cupcakes the night before. But that'll be easy just to stick them on. This is done. So that's one less thing. I want to go ahead and apologize if the vlogs are a little bit wonky for the next month. My camera is messed up and my viewfinder doesn't work. So I literally have no idea at all what I'm recording. And I rely heavily on the viewfinder, like heavily, heavily, heavily. I don't think I've ever looked directly at the lens when I'm recording. I even have a camera where the viewfinder flips up instead of like to the side. 
that way I can see myself and I can look at the viewfinder and you like can't tell that I'm looking at it because it's above it. It's a whole thing. Um, but anyways, it broke. The ribbon that connects the viewfinder to the camera, it just bent and snapped and it broke. So now I don't have a viewfinder and it's very weird and I'm trying to like be okay with it, but I don't know what I'm recording and it's the weirdest feeling in the world. Especially when I'm like recording myself. It's fine when I'm recording other things because I can kind of like adjust the camera, you know, and figure it out. But when I'm recording myself, I don't even know, like, are you guys looking at the top of my head? Or down here? Or over here? Or like, I don't know. I have no idea. So sorry so much if things are a little bit out of focus or like out of frame a little bit. I'm trying really hard. I just... It's messed up. Um, we did order the part to fix it. John can fix it. That's not a problem. It's just that the part takes like a month to get here. We do have a GoPro that we could use like if for some reason this completely breaks, but it's just not as easy to use or as good as quality as this camera is. If it was broken all the way and not recording, we would just like go to Best Buy or something and grab a little small, I, I want to say cheap, but cameras aren't cheap. Um, <laughs> backup camera but thankfully it still records it still works it's just the viewfinder is messed up but this has made me realize that we probably do need to get a backup camera i probably need to get like another g7x because they're not ridiculously expensive and they're just like all in one like this one is the a6600 and you have to like change the lenses and everything it's like a whole thing um but the canon's just like all one piece you know so probably will order one of those in case something like this happens again not that i want it to but you know what are you doing little leon are you taking a nappy huh you watching octonauts taking a nappy yeah guys he looks so much better today oh my gosh his medicine is working wonders oh he's sleepy there you go is that better I don't know how the camera is going to pick up his eyes, but I promise you guys they look so much better. Still a tiny bit red and like dry where he's been rubbing them, but pretty much all the puffiness has gone away. So I think he feels a lot better too. Like he's a lot more active. He seems a lot happier. He's not scratching his eyes anymore. So that's super, super good. Hi. It's a lot of mess. Can you pick up your blankies and put them on the bed? It is a mess. Can you clean up? What about the cleanup song? The cleanup song? Clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere. Clean up, clean up, everybody do your share. Clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere. Clean up, clean up, everybody do your share. Clean up, clean up. Everybody do your share. Clean up, clean up. Yay, thank you, buddy. You missed a baby doll. Can you get the baby? Good job. Oh, no. Oh, no. Here, Mommy will hang it. I don't think you can reach that far. Is it always? Yeah, I'll hang it up right here. Oh, special. We did it. Are you cutting up paper? Yeah. Yeah. He has a little helper. <laughs> Tonight is game night with my sister and it's at her house this time. And she doesn't have a table big enough to fit all of us. So I try to do games that are like, you don't have to sit at the table, you know, obviously not like Monopoly or something like that. So I decided to do charades. And I just like went on Google and found a paper, well two papers actually, of charade words and I just cut them out, put them in there. So, should be fine. Okay. <laughs> Theo's so excited. I got a puppy. Oh, here's Dessa too. You guys ready to go see the puppy? Yeah. Yeah? It's really stuck. Uh, I know it's stuck. Mommy has to open it for you. There you go. Okay. You're welcome. <sighs> okay, we just 
got back from my sister's house. It's like, what time is it? Like 9.30? Yeah, it's late. Yeah, it's it's late. So the kids went straight to bed. Um, I didn't bring my camera to record there just because, like, I don't know. It's her house, not mine. You know, not that she minds. It's just, you know. Um, so they loved charades so much so that we went through the cards that I brought. And they started just, like, making up their own. <laughs> so... That was a good idea. Definitely a good game to play. If you made it to this point of our video, then you know it's time for our birthday shoutouts. Happy birthday to Ashley. Happy birthday to Kelsey. And happy birthday to April. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and if you'd like, become a member. And we'll see you in our next video. Bye, guys. Bye.